What's up guys, Sans7 here, free to play, episode 9. Here are the heroes I'm working with, trying this ball solo on tier 1. You can see abysmal talents, ability levels aren't great. Only hero with the exception, actually a 2 of 5 talent, yeah baby, even useful for the boss. Loving it. At least Pumpkin Duke's got the 4-9 champ, well just 1's everywhere, but that's okay. Captain 80 as well, really the weak spot, except for the fact that he stuns for 3 seconds. Now... I've always wanted this account to just go ahead and solo a ball. So yeah, I did leave Street Fighter, which really great guild. You know, I might come back, but for now, you know, I really want to do a ball solo. So we're just going to go ahead and find the flag in here, create this guild, and what are we going to call it? Hmm, how about Drunken Garden Gnomes? Yeah, baby. All right, I'm loving it. And fail. Okay. Well, this video is a fail video. You're going to see it over and over again. Just like my buddy who inspired this name, I'd hit it because God knows he will hit anything. And in the morning, see him? Oh, the look of shame. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get into it. And I should not have even been able to create that guild. I was in the guild same like six hours ago, before, right after server reset. Pretty weird. Um, but no way I'll be able to start the boss because otherwise... Uh, what? Uh-oh. Oh no. I got no sh I got no gems. I got no heroes alive. Oh man. All right. Well, <laughs> going to actually go in and get some free gems now. Haven't done this yet other than just watching a video for one for one little uh gem, but I'm going to scroll through here and CSR Racing guys is actually a really fun game and it's one that well, I spent money on went through and I've actually went through and beaten the entire game and if any of you play it, let me know what you think about it. But all right, here we got the ball solo. I've only got 13 minutes and 23 seconds, which there's no way I can do it. I don't know the proper line, the setup to bring it in, but at least I've got these 13 minutes to figure it out. And when you have a ball squad, and it's good to ask questions in your guild. You know, how should I use this? What heroes? How should I run them? What drop order? But in the end, it comes down to actually practicing it seeing what works seeing what doesn't work and for me well you'll see in this one i figure it out but unfortunately since i had just completely screwed up and failed on the start of the first ball solo was going to be so happy to do ball solo episode nine free to play no but there's a little little light at the end of the tunnel there and you'll see the last run i come in get it down get it right now most of the philosophy that I'm trying to use is tanking with Pumpkin Duke. And by tanking with Pumpkin Duke, he's going to get a lot of aggro off. and Or not aggro. He's going to take the aggro, which is going to help him stack his celebrate. But you can see there he is dead. The problem is, if I tank with Pumpkin Duke, that means that I cannot get hit when I don't have GA up. As soon as I get hit, my Pumpkin Duke gets one shot. Because what happens is, the boss, you can call it a double hit. Because he has his normal attack plus the proc. That is enough damage to kill my Pumpkin Duke in one shot. And that's a friggin' problem. As you can see, watch this GA end. When Pumpkin Duke gets hit, there's the X on him. I do like that in the update, showing the X. Because God knows you can't see anything when all the heroes are all clumped together right on top of the damn boss. But, eh, it'll get me to try some different things like this. You can see how I'm staggering my heroes. I want Pumpkin Duke in first. Obviously, he's tanking. I want that Celebrate stacking. Well, Thunder God's next because he has a 1 of 5 of right. That means he's going to proc pretty early. And next one in is going to become an Amortep and Champ. And what I need to do is just get the timing right. Because what you want to do when you have multiple stunners is you don't want them proccing at the same time. You're wasting your stuns. You can see, eh, that's probably not too good. They're too close together. That looks like Champ and Amortep are going to proc at the same time. Because the way you can look at it is the fact that, all right, Thunder God, when he stuns, he's got a stun of a second and a half. Champ has a stun of three seconds. So now we're sitting at four and a half seconds. Amortep, well, he stuns for a second and a half. So then you're looking at six, and, well, Amortep can actually... He's done more than once. My Pumpkin Duke has Heavy Blow. Uh, it's only a 2 of 5, so I think that's, what, a second and a half? But timely hits from Heavy Blow, 
Well, maybe that can save... Uh, no, not save my ass in this one, of course. Now, see, guys? Yeah, I am lucky sometimes, but a lot of times I get, you know, messages, you're so good. No, I'm not. I just put in all the good gameplay and leave all the bad stuff out. But all right, here we go, and I think this might be it. I need to watch this drop over again, but what you're going to see here is... I bring in... Ah, oh, but he's fucking dead. Never mind. God, Frustrating. Yes, guys. I do mess up quite a bit. It is quite frustrating. Now, since it's a phone, I don't really throw it too much. But, like, back in the old days with Call of Duty, I went through, like, two and a half controllers. I say half a controller because I actually took the parts from one and was able to build another. Not to mention the holes in the wall from throwing the controller. So, yeah do rage a bit. Now, Castle Cross isn't like Call of Duty where it's just that, oh, it's lag compensation, it's blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no, it's not like that, but it still can be frustrating at times. And, of course, I'm just going to dump the rest of the shards in there, so no, I can't test to find out if the boss glitch is still good or not. Of course not, but all right. Well, here I'm just trying to stagger the heroes, bringing them in, and you can see that was nice. The heavy blow hitting, and let's try to watch the timing of it. You can see that if I can get the... Ah, oh, Pumpkin Duke's dead again. Oh, my God. So frustrating. I know there is a way to go three minutes on this. All right, let's see. Pumpkin Duke, and... Okay, okay. Druid, heal him, damn it! There you go, there you go. And no... Oh, my God. So frustrating. Now, I think Pumpkin Duke can survive as long as he has close to full health or he's not taking a double hit. And we'll try... Tanking with Thunder God right now. See how that does for me. Come on, come on, come on. No, no, and no. All right, and I'm not even halfway done yet. I didn't see how much time was left, but there's not much time left, that's for sure. Come oh, my God. Losing him again. Now, see, like I said, guys, this game can be quite frustrating. I don't always do well. I fail all the time. And if you want, I'll show some more fails. But, okay. Let's try to stagger more. Because staggering is the way to go. And, okay, this looks good. Give me the heavy blow. I'm going to need it right here. Okay. No. Oh, my God. I didn't get the heavy blow. I didn't even see him swing. What kind of bullshit is that? All right. 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 Let's try it again. Let's go ahead and get it staggered. And there we go. Nice stagger. All right. Pumpkin Duke hadn't been hit yet. We got the stun going. The next one, Thunder God. You got a proc. Okay, Mortet proc. Champ proc. Oh, heavy blow coming from... Oh, my God. Never mind. Oh, wow. And I thought that was it. Very disappointing. Okay, maybe this time. All right, so bringing him in and... All right. Took the hit first, but Druid's going to be able to heal him there. And, all right, all right, looking good. Full health. Looks like I, it's staggered pretty well right now. Look, I think I'm going to need a well-timed heavy blow from my Pumpkin Duke to keep me alive. Actually, he's looking pretty good right now. Ooh, got hit. Druid, nice timely heal. And, oh, oh, stun. Okay, thank God. Heavy blow went off. Oh, my God. I think I had two lucky heavy blows. And that's going to get me to a minute. And, well, if I can get to a minute, I'm good. It's going to make an easy solo take a little longer. But, actually, this one, I'm going to have to watch this drop again because I think I got it. As long as I can keep this stun. Yeah. All right. Now, this is how it's done. Now, like I said, I couldn't have predicted that I would be able to do this. But he's going to come out of that. I'm not permasunning. Maybe with 5 and 9, I can get a little closer to the permasun. I still don't think I can get it there just yet. But... What I am able to do is, since the stuns are staggered, I'm not overlapping on my stuns very much, or I might even have it set up just about perfect to where the boss is coming away with just one swing, and when he does swing, he's not killing my Pumpkin Duke, which is very nice of him. You can see right there, yeah, Druid's heals right in time every time Pumpkin Duke gets hit. The heal's coming in. We're down to 22 seconds, 21, 20. Oh, baby, come on, let's get it to three minutes. At least get a little bit of goodness with this fail on the ball solo. Oh, Daddy Immortep is just procking left and right. Yes. Oh, a little six and a half million. Okay, I will take that. It's a fail, but it'll work for me. All right, guys. Sans 7 out.